Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech. We're going to take a look at the brand new Pure Gear Reshield. This is a new screen protector from them that they say has an easy one touch installation. You can remove it and reapply it. And they claim one is all you need. They start at about $20 and they come for the iPad mini, which this one is, the larger iPad, iPhone 4, Galaxy S3, iPhone 5, and a host of others that they'll be coming out with soon if they're not out already. Now this is for the iPad mini. Let's open this up here and see what we have. So this is the screen protector itself. Let's see what we've got in the back here. So this is all we get. We've got, looks like the screen shield here. It says step one, clean the device with the cloth. Make sure no dust or debris is left on. Partially peel it back. Release the inner mask approximately an inch. It says carefully align it and then pull the rest of the tab and then with a cleaning cloth push out any bubbles and repeat removal of bubbles using clean cloth. So that's pretty much it. Now the interesting thing is it says remove the screen protector and run underwater. Gently rub away the debris with your finger. So you can use dish soap to do that and it should be really nice. Let's take a look at it. Here I have my iPad mini. Let's open up this here. And see what this is all about. Now this is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be anti-glare, kind of a matte finish. Now they supply this, I don't know if it's a sticky cloth, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit sticky or tacky to remove all the dust, which is nice, something different that you, this is a tacky cloth to remove all the dust, something a little bit different that you don't see. Turn it off, see if we can see all the dust here. And you can see it's picking it up a little bit on the bottom here. We'll peel this back a little bit. Line it up. The screen protector's on. I've got to get all the little air bubbles out from underneath it. You can push these out pretty easily just with your hand. There's a little bit of dust underneath it, which is going to drive me nuts. But if this is reusable, you can wash it, reuse it, and go from there. So that's not too bad. Let's see if we can push it out with this here. Probably the easiest air bubbles I've ever had to remove. The adhesive's not so strong that it won't uh, let the air bubbles out. So if I turn it on, uh, it looks pretty good. It is a matte finish, uh, but you can see right there's an air bubble. I have to work that out here. And usually these take a little bit and they'll work themselves out. Now I do use a smart cover with it. It is case friendly, so it does have that little gap here on the side. and. It doesn't really add any thickness to the case. So a uh, pretty nice overall simple screen protector from Pure Gear. Like I said, they made it make it for other devices as well. So if you're looking for an iPhone screen protector or something else, they make matte finishes and it feels pretty good. It's, it's pretty slippery. Uh, it is plasticky feeling though. It does not feel like the glass at all, but it looks... Uh, to be a pretty easy screen protector. So if you don't want something like they offer with the one solution roll-on screen protector that's a little bit thicker, this is a little more natural thinness and kind of a, a little more sensitive it looks like. Again, that's the ReShield from Pure Gear. Be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments regarding Pure Gear or the ReShield, please place those in the comments below as well. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.